Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to look at a normally consolidated soil and we're going to be doing an example where we find the final void ratio. Okay, so back to our diagram we had in the first video. Um, so in the previous video we looked at what happened along this line. Now we're going to be looking what happens when we are along this line here. Okay, so not up here on the normally consolidated line but up down here, right? So in other words, we're now experiencing stresses which are greater than our pre-consolidated stress. Okay, so we're at a time, our time is now at a time where we are, our stresses are greater than the pre-consolidated stress. So, for example, we could be given, say, uh, sigma initial equals 40, sigma final equals, um, say, 100, and sigma pre-consolidated equals 20. Okay, so if I were to graph this, just like we did in the previous video, Sorry, I would dash down all my points. So here's sigma initial. Sorry, here's sigma pre-consolidated at 20. Here's sigma initial at 40. And here's sigma final at 100. Okay, so as you can see, we are, along, we are along this point of the graph where the pre-consolidated stress is smaller compared to the initial and final stress we're experiencing. Okay. This is different to the example we did in the previous video. In the previous video, we saw that the pre-consolidated stress was the maximum. Now the pre-consolidated stress is the minimum, okay? So what that means is that we are along the normally consolidated line, okay? We're along this line here. So our soil, this is normally consolidated. Once again, in a question, they could do one of two things for you to deduce that you're normally consolidated. They could give you this information and you would have to draw it and see that you're normally consolidated. Or they could just say, in a normally consolidated soil sample. And the reason we need to know that is we need to know to use CC, the compression index, okay? In the previous video, we used CR, but because our soil is normally consolidated, we need to use CC, okay? And to find the final void ratio, it's the exact same process. So let's just make up an example. CC equals 0 0.4, CR equals 0 0.06, okay? Um, to find the, so once again, we're gonna find the gradient of this line. Remember that this is a log scale, okay? So the gradient we can find is EF minus EI. It's the exact same as before on top of log sigma final dash minus log sigma initial dash and this is now going to equal minus cc okay once again we put a minus there because cc is given as positive because this slope would be negative and negative times a negative gives us a positive okay so the only difference between this and the previous example this is the exact same as the pre this is in the previous video okay except that's cc and this is cr so in this video we're using cc because our soil is normally consolidated and it's being compressed, right? So we could rearrange this to get EF equals minus CC log sigma F dash and sigma I dash plus the initial voids ratio, okay? Let's just say that the initial voids ratio was 1.0. All right, now we can plug in all these values. So minus CC is 0.4. So minus 0.4 log sigma final so the final, effect, the final stress we experienced was 100. The initial exp, um, stress we experienced was 40. So 100 on 40 plus the initial voids ratio was 1.0. Okay, this is log base 10, so we can calculate this. So minus 0.4 log of 100 divide 40 plus 1. We get a final voids ratio of 0 0.84. Okay, so there's our final voids ratio. So once again, this is how you would do it for a normally consolidated soil when your initial and final effective stresses are both larger than the pre-consolidated stress. In contrast to a overly consolidated soil, which we did in the previous video, where the pre-consolidated stress was the maximum. Okay? In the next example, we're actually going to be doing a combination of normally consolidated and overly consolidated. So that example will hopefully reinforce the two ideas we've learned in the two previous videos. So I recommend you check that out. Hope that helps.